Do you long to be used by God, but think, how? I'm a stay-at-home mom. I don't have a big platform. I work full time. Well, what if I told you that none of that matters? And in today's video, we're going to talk about how to start a ministry at home. Well, hey there, my name is Chris Reese, and if you are looking for biblical solutions to life's tough challenges, go ahead and click that subscribe and notification button. God has called each and every one of us into ministry. But please don't confuse having a preaching platform or starting a megachurch with the only way to do ministry. God has created you unique, with a unique personality, unique experiences, unique talents, and a unique calling. And my desire is to challenge you today to think outside of the ministry box and begin to answer the call of God on your life. So if you've been feeling a pull to do all you can with what you've got for God, I want to talk to you today about six ways that you can start a ministry right from your own home, plus some valuable resources that you can use to get you started right away. Number one, an online YouTube ministry. Love to be on camera? Then YouTube is for you. Even if you're a bit camera shy, it is possible to break past that initial fear and spread your message through video. See, video is one of the fastest growing platforms and YouTube is the second largest search engine next to Google. So what better way than starting your own Christian YouTube channel to spread your message? Look, I get it. YouTube can be intimidating. What do I say? What equipment do I use? How do I upload? It can be so overwhelming that many don't even give it a chance. And thankfully, people like Alan Parr at Creators for Christ have made it simple. Alan has a comprehensive program that helps you to launch your very own Christian YouTube channel. Whether your desire is to take your talent online or spread the good news, Creators for Christ will help you dial in your message, find the right equipment, and give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to get started and how to grow your channel. The possibility for the types of YouTube videos that you can create, my friend, is endless. You can actually even create faceless videos if you don't want to be on camera. Number two, is a podcast. Got a message, but video isn't exactly for you? A podcast may be the best way to broadcast that message that is burning on your heart. Podcasts are growing in popularity as, pe as people are constantly on the go and podcasts are portable. They have replaced radio for many in their drive to work, plus they are fast becoming the go-to for news, entertainment, education, and real life conversations. Podcasts uh, formats vary greatly, so the platform is basically your oyster. And if you are afraid of the going live jitters, don't worry. Most podcasts are pre-recorded. You can make your podcast as simple or as complex as you would like. If getting your message out through podcasting feels like the right step for you, you have got to check out Spark Media Ventures. Their program helps you to get started in sparking your message for the kingdom. They cover everything from finding your niche to uploading your first episode and everything in between. You will not be left wanting for support from this group. And number three is a blog. Maybe the thought of showing up on camera or talking into a microphone into the abyss is dreadful to you. But God has given you the gift of writing and a message is burning on your heart. Then a blog is an easy and effective way to get God's message out into the world. Now granted, there are over 100,000 Christian blogs alone on the internet, but there is a tremendous need as many people go to Google, unfortunately before they go to God. And even if you didn't do well in English class, don't give up that dream to write. There are many, including myself, that have a message and have to recruit help in the editing phase. And maybe you even have the dream to write a book. A blog would be a great place to start to test your ideas. Simply get yourself a website domain like a WordPress and start sharing. And a great resource for unleashing your inner writer is the She Speaks Conference. Now, I personally have not experienced the live conference, but many that I know have expressed how beneficial it was in their desire to become a better communicator through writing. And number four, start a home church. 
You don't have to be a big name pastor with a fancy degree to do mighty things for God's kingdom. The early church was started with a ragtag team that gathered together in each other's homes. And the disciples didn't focus on how many people came to their home. They didn't uh, compete over attendance each week. Instead, they held firm to the Great Commission. And their heart was to lead others to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ and equip them to do the same. And many today are seeing the value of smaller gatherings. Francis Chan, who was once a pastor of a megachurch before resigning, speaks frequently on the importance of small home gatherings that grow, divide, and multiply. Home churches aren't about attendance growth. It's about discipleship growth. And as your home church grows, you can now encourage and equip others to start a church in their own home. And so on, and so on, and so on. And starting is easy. Just start by inviting some friends and family and watch what God will do through your yielded vessel. And number five, start a life group. Have you been searching and wishing your church would start a life group for people like you? Unfortunately, churches can't always accommodate every single person's preferences, but you can. Instead of getting upset that you can't find a group, start one. Don't like to do things alone? Start one with a friend. Life groups can be centered around anything. There's life groups that hike, others that bike. I even hosted a life group at one point that did trapeze. And the gathering was centered around the concept of letting go. It can be anything you want. It doesn't even need to be an activity. Your focus could be Bible related. Maybe it's textual, maybe it's topical. God has given you unique talents and desires. So let your imagination run wild. To get started, simply spread the word with your friends on social media or your family. And again, see what God does with it. And number six, promote a product. You got a creative gift and don't know how to put it to work for the kingdom? Create your own line of apparel, jewelry, art, you name it. The possibilities are endless. With platforms like Amazon and Etsy, you no longer have to have brand deals to get your products to consumers. There are even companies like Teespring that provide the apparel and you just simply need to create your design and share your store links. It's that easy. A friend of mine found herself with some time on her hands during the pandemic, and instead of worrying, she started creating a line of his masks. The logo is unique, and people everywhere have been stopping her on the streets asking where she got that mask, not to mention the conversation starters that happen because people want to know what his means. Like my friend, you too can bring forth your message and spark conversations with unique products that people use every day. My friend, there are countless ways that you can do ministry right from the comfort of your own home. And many of these avenues can also make money. And while I understand that this may not be your mission, it sure can help to support it. And who knows how God will use that avenue to open up the next. I know that you long to serve God, my friend. So, which one of these sparked your interest? Let me know in the comments below. Also, in the description section below, you will find links to many of the references that were made today. So feel free, check it out, and go start your message for God's kingdom today. And did you know that there are people in the Bible that are just like you, with unique talents and temperaments, and they all served a mighty purpose, just like you? So I want to invite you to take our free quiz to see which Bible character you are as it pertains to your purpose. I will go ahead and include a link in the description section below. So before we go, my friend, I want to encourage you to submit your questions to potentially be answered on our Building Faith podcast. So go ahead, post your questions below, and who knows, we may actually take your question and answer it on our future episode of the Building Faith podcast. Well, my friend, that's all the time that we have for today. Until next time, remember, all things are possible with God. Thank you for watching Christian Life TV. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Also, help us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ and build believers all around the world. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly partner with Chris Reese Ministries by clicking on the donate link now.